ハイナオジャパンはアウトリガーホテルズリゾーツハワイ州観光局の提供でお送りしますアロハカコ皆さんこんにちはハイナオジャパン番組ホストの松本優太です Welcome to a special episode of Hainao Japan. 今回はハワイの美しい島、モロカイ島を皆さんにご紹介します。現在もモロカイ島は自然を何よりも大切にしています。そしてモロカイ島に住む人々もまた、そのありのままのモロカイ島を心の底から愛しています。番組の後半では、ここオアフ島よりエンターテイナーのジョシュ・タトフィーさんへのインタビューをご紹介。彼の日本への思いそして素晴らしい歌声を聞かせてくれましたハワイを代表するイベントの一つホノルルフェスティバル残念ながら今年も開催されませんがもう一度過去のイベントを振り返りましょうそして最後はアウトリガーリーフワイキキビーチリゾートより最高の食事と音楽が楽しめるカニカピラグリルのご紹介です It's gonna be a great show. それでは早速モロカイ島の魅力に迫っていきましょうモロカイ島はオアフ島から飛行機で30分プライベートジェットのようなこんな小さな飛行機でのフライト離着陸前の揺れがちょっとだけ怖いですが飛行機からの眺めを堪能できましたモロカイ島は手つかずの自然であふれのんびりとした雰囲気人口は7000人強ですここに住む方たちの多くはネイティブハワイアンの血を受け継ぎこのありのままのモロカイ島を心の底から愛しています昔ながらのハワイを今でも感じることのできる貴重な島ですモロカイ is like no other place.、Um, there are other Hawaiian islands,、uh, but we're very different here. We have a really, I would say we have a very unique cultural、uh, lifestyle and heritage here. I truly believe. You know, we're such a small population here. There's only 7,000 people here. And so we know everyone. Everyone here is like family. And so when you all realize how special this place is, how different it is, how rich and natural the resources is,、um, it, it really i t s a motivator to bring people together,、um, to, to think of. Better practices, better ways to introduce new technology. How can we make our island a stronger community? How can we protect our resources? Toto san wa Nikkei Yonsei. Toto san no sohubo no dai kara Molokai tou ni sumare t e i m a s My grandfather was the first one、uh, to come to Molokai, and it was in 1932. And he was hired,、uh, he was 18 years old. And hired to work at the power company here. At that point in time, electricity only went for about one square mile. And so、um, he was brought on to help extend electricity、uh, throughout Molokai. And he met my, my grandmother, who is also Japanese.、Uh, she came from Honolulu. So together they,、uh, they settled here on Molokai. And、uh, my grandmother brought her Japanese parents from Oahu as well. And so、um, I also have two children, eight years old and ten years old, and so they would be the fifth generation now、uh, here on Molokai. Todd さんと二人のお子さんはシンプルで素晴らしい生活をされています。Todd さんはモロカイ島の環境維持を目指すための取り組みとして農園を開きました。About two years ago, in the beginning of、uh, the pandemic, I was laid off from my job. And、um, I, I really just wanted to get back to the land as much as I could. 
And so um, I asked uh, the neighbor, the property owner here, um, if they were doing anything. And it was just an open, vacant lot. And he said, you know what? Go for it, whatever you want to do. And um, you can see a little bit of some of the work that I've, I've done around here. Um, we've cut down a lot of trees and whatnot. But, you know, really, um, it was an opportunity for me to get back on the land. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, um, I'm not a farmer by trade. Um, and so uh, a, a lot of this is an education platform. And, and not just for me, but it's an investment in my kids. If my kids can grow up um, learning how to care for animals, uh, learning how to be farmers, and, and also to be good with their hands, uh, I think that's the best investment that I can make in them. Morokai Tou no hitobito wa daichi to umi no megumi wo sai daigen katsuyo shi seikatsu shi teimasu. Toddo san wa sekai de utaware teiru sustainability, jizoku kano na lifestyle wo kangae ru toki, Morokai Tou wa sono model no yo na basho de aru to hanashimasu. I'm very proud to say that, um, you know, for so many years, Molokai has pushed hard against development and modernization. And at the time, it, it, um, to the rest of the world, it didn't make sense. Um, I think now that we see with global warming and the rising seas, um, people understand now that this natural lifestyle, um, trying to live sustainably, it, all of a sudden, Molokai has relevance. You know, um, the things that we've, that our ancestors have taught us how to live, um, all of those teachings are, are now very important to the world. And so I really want this farm uh, to be more than just a farm for animals and, and vegetables. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of solar panels here and there. Um, the farm itself is off the grid, so we use just the sunshine um, to power everything that we need here. And so what I really want to grow on my farm is ideas. I, I want this to be a place for ingenuity. I want it to be a platform, so not just for myself and my family to enjoy. I want the schools to come here. I want them to be able um, to have a platform to, to learn about the things that we do here. マックさんはマラマモウモミというプロジェクトを手掛けています。このプロジェクトで彼は魚を乱獲しないことの大切さをはじめ、自然からの恵みを次世代に必ずつなげることの大切さを教えています。マックさんのご家族は何世代にもわ
ご覧くださいたくさんのローカルの方たちがこのホットブレッドのために長い列を作っていますいい地元の方が列に並んででも購入したい夜にだけ販売されるホットブレッド一体どんな味なのでしょうかさて早速このパンをいただきましょう私は今カウルバイ君とノホカイ君のおばあちゃんの家に来てます。Okay, so could you explain to me what this is?、Uh -huh. This is Molokai hot bread. Inside is mango jam, ube, and cream cheese. Wow, this is pretty huge, isn't it?、Uh -huh. Okay. All right, let's try. How's it? That's delicious. Delicious? Mmm. Oh my gosh. このホットブレッドはふわふわで、中には自分で選んだジャムがたっぷり入っています。地元でなぜこんなに人気なのか、納得ですね。Thank you to all of the people on Molokai. 今回のモロカイ島へのショートトリップで皆さんにご紹介できたのはごく一部ですがそれでもモロカイ島の魅力を感じ取っていただけたのではないでしょうか近代化便利な生活を目指すだけではなく今のありのままの島の姿島本来の美しさを次世代にもつなげたい。そんなモロカイ島の考え方をぜひ敬いたいと強く感じた旅となりました。Thank you モロカイ for sharing your stories。モロカイ島の人々は今のありのままのモロカイ島を心の底から愛しています。私たちは皆それをリスペクトしなくてはいけませんね。さて先日サンセットタイムに。女子タトフィーさんのインタビューをしてきました彼の日本への思いそして美しい歌声を聞かせてくれました At first, music to me, I thought was just、uh, something that was passed down from my dad, you know, because my dad played music his whole life,、uh, playing with the group Capena. So, in the early years of music, I just thought it was、um, like a sport, one of those things that kids do, like everyone else.、Um, it wasn't until around 13, 14, I, I felt like I really had、um, a gift for music.、Um, so, that's when I kind of started taking it seriously. But music, music for me, for lack of better words, is, is life, really.、Um, At some, in the very beginning, I thought, you know, I have to make this music career work, you know, pay my bills, I can sing for the rest of my life. But then,、um, at some point in my career, I kind of let music, kind of let music kind of guide me、um, for, with my life. You know, at some point, I thought I could control it. But, you know, that's not how music works.、Um, music kind of just comes in and lets you know what it wants you to do, you know. And、um, for me, Um, you know, by the grace of God, you know, He gave me a voice to sing. And with that, music kind of chose me to, you know, spread love. I can't nail it to, to one song, but definitely one of my favorite love songs, of course, is Always and Forever from, from Luther b a n j o s There'll always be sunshine when I look at you, babe. That was probably the first song that I,、uh, I kind of was like fond of, I guess, growing up. I didn't know what love was at the time, but I knew that how that song was sung from Luther v a n d r e s s and how it was um, um, composed. I was, I was all about it, I was hooked. Call me a n t e A second to give to me that magic you make it together.
I love Japan. You know, Japan, they're, they're the best, you know. Um, their hospitality is second to none. You know, their respect level is second to none. Um, they're so respectful um, out there, you know, and they're such great fans of the Hawaiian culture. And it's so beautiful, you know. I believe the last time there was a, there was a count, I believe there's like a million hula dancers out there. Um, and you know, that's flattering. That's super flattering, especially for um, Hawaiian practitioners, especially for us, us that live here in Hawaii, you know, to see a different country uh, take in another culture um, at that level is, I want to say it's probably the highest level of respect, you know, when it comes to culture. So, um, I love Japan. I know there's a lot of people in Japan that want to make it down here in Hawaii and, you know, unfortunately with the times, you know, there's a lot of restrictions. Um, but, you know, like I said earlier, let's, let's try to be positive. Uh, let's take care of our health. Um, you know, we gotta kind of attack this whole thing head on. You know, COVID is not really gonna just leave us instantly, right? But what we can do is get better at how to live around it and with it, you know, in, um, in, in our world. So, um, but you know, once you guys make it back down here, we can't wait to see you guys. Um, and love you guys so much, miss you guys. Wow, I wish I could sing like him. Hi now, Japan. Welcome back to Hi now, Japan. Hawaii そして文化の多様性も大きな魅力の一つです。ハワイでたくさんの文化を一度に楽しめるイベントといえば、ホノルルフェスティバルです。ホノルルフェスティバルは日本とハワイの文化交流を目的に1995年にスタートしました。今
さてもし皆さんが素晴らしいハワイアンミュージックとローカルフードを同時に楽しみたければアウトリガーリーフワイキキビチリゾートにあるカニカピラグリルがおすすめですハイナウジャパン以前のエピソードでは新しく生まれ変わったアウトリガーリーフワイキキビーチリゾートをご紹介しました洗練されたデザインとハワイの温かい雰囲気が合わさって大変居心地のいい空間ですそしてホテルの大人気レストランカニカピラグリルもさらに魅力的になりましたカニカピラはハワイ語で音楽を奏でようという意味まさにその名の通りハワイのミュージシャンによる本格的なライブ演奏が楽しめるレストランですカニカピラ is music it is the place of music and it's the people who will entertain there who will sing there perform there express their love there that's カニカピラカニカピラ grill is important here in Waikiki Because this is where Hawaiian music can be shared with people and visitors from all over the world. It is where the locals can also come and gather and enjoy music that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. Kanikapila Grill is and has been for 14 years the pico of Waikiki when it comes to Hawaiian music. 最高のハワイアンミュージックには素晴らしい食事も欠かせませんこの美味しそうなフードの数々をご覧くださいキラーブレッドソフトシェルクラブ天ぷらふりかけクラステッドアヒそしてダ・ロコモコどれから食べるか迷いますねこの日演奏していたのはハワイで数々の音楽賞に輝いたネーサン・アベアウさん彼にとってカニカピラグリルとは一体どんな場所なのでしょうか So something like カニカピラグリル makes a big difference when outsiders or tourists come in and they, listen, they get to listen to real local music what's going on now not only Hawaiian music but basically local music you know the the happenings if you will because there there aren't, aren't many places that in Hawaii in Waikiki uh, for that matter that you'll find live music so Kanika Pilgrim is very important for for us and and the uh, listeners <laughs> みなさんもハワイの夜を心から楽しみたければアウトリガーリーフワイキキビーチリゾートのカニカピラグリルをぜひチェックしてみてくださいね Thank you Nathan and the カニカピラグリル and thank you for watching ハイノージャパンハイノージャパンお楽しみいただけましたでしょうか番組ホームページのほか各 SNS も絶対チェックしてくださいねそれではまた次回「ハイナオジャパン」でお会いしましょうアフイホーアロハハイナオジャパンはハワイ州観光局アウトリガーホテルズリゾーツの提供でお送りしました。